Uh, all right, let's see. Um, so this came up recently. Uh, what are the difference between US Octane ratings, AK, AKI, and UKU like Ron? Um, it's all in how they're calculated. Um, it is. There's different methods that they use to determine a you know, resistance to knock. It's it's basically like the metric system versus you know imperial. Essentially, I mean, it's, they, yeah, it's, it's both numbers correlate to essentially the same thing, but the numbers the numbers themselves are different. Are different. Um, so everything that we do, every tune on our website, every every tune that we sell and supply, every tune we engineer is is AKI, which is the the U.S. Knock index rating, um, which is a laboratory tested rating that uh, you know fuel all over the world. This is why I'm always like, it doesn't really matter where you buy your gas. Um, you know, you can buy it from Chevron, you can buy it from Rob Robbie's or whatever. Fuel is a, is a gasoline is a highly engineered, highly um, controlled, controlled and tested and um, regulated product. Uh, probably much more than anything we eat. Any food that we put in our body, for, especially in the U.S., yeah, in the U.S., you know, in the U.S., you can buy freaking poison in a can and eat it all day long. But you, the, your gas is like exactly the same every time. You know, of course, there's seasonalities in the ad, but regardless, it's it's very tightly regulated. And so, one of the the key regulation requirements is that if pump fuel goes to the pump and it's 91, the AKI rating ensures that it's been tested to that standard. You can put it in any car that requires 91 octane from any gas station, from any pump, and it's always going to be AKI 91. Uh, in Europe, they have their own. Um, so there's this RON system, and uh, they're doing the same thing. Unfortunately, their numbers are higher. So R93 is like their 100 or something. No, 98. 98. Typically. So, and well, again, and that depends. There's different ratings across different regions. So you, you have R93 AKI can either be a 98 or a 100, depending on the region that it's in over there. That's true. Uh, and then also by brand, there's, there's, it's tough to directly core. So we, we had a customer recently who um, took our 100 octane file, right? 100 AKI. Our 100 AKI file and, and put 99 RON fuel in, which is like, Maybe like 92, yeah. yeah, 93 here. And I'll just say he had some issues um, because he put in totally the wrong fuel. He didn't know anything about this. Um, he didn't know about the different fuel ratings. He didn't know there's between metric and imperial. So um, this is why we're talking about it. Our website clearly states all of our tunes are AKI. They're all US based tunes. We are a, a US American company. Um, I don't even know how we would get a hold of European fuel, even if we wanted it. Um, That'd be fun to ship. <laughs> there might be a way to buy some, but it's, it's basically impossible for us to design or engineer a, a tune on the RON system because we have no access to that fuel. Right. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we could spend like a million dollars and get a barrel, but but how do how do we get the fuel? Sure. Yeah. No, it you would know, be a collaborative. Yeah. Now we, we we do have some engineering collaboration with Racing Line and you know, but it's not a big deal as long as you convert AKI to RON and you know what fuel to use and and you're fine. And the problem is when people get sloppy. And this particular guy put 99 octane on 100 file, which also don't do that. You know, if it's 100 file, you have to have 100 octane fuel or better, or better, or better. You can have better, but never go less. Right, so. 